twelve chimes. It's midnight. At midnight, anything can happen. Hello, listeners. Before we get started, I'd like to give our friends at the Narada Radio Company a chance to tell you about their podcast. Hello, fiends! <laughs> this is Cadavra, Cadavra Quivery. I'm the host of The Cellar. <laughs> In each episode, I open my great big book and select a story that's certain to chill you. (laughs) So watch for the cellar. In the meantime, don't take candy from stranglers. One more ballyhoo about a true friend of the show. Me. I'm not just a pretty voice for 12 chimes. You can find more of my work at joshhorowitz.com and on audible.com, where I have narrated a number of audiobooks with many different voices. In fact, I can offer you a promo code to download two of them for free by visiting joshhorowitz.com slash audible. Be sure to check it out. Ah, it's midnight, and time for a question. When you were a teenager, did you ever sneak out at midnight to check out some creepy, abandoned place? No? Afraid you might actually find something scary? Join us now for a story about a gang of curious teenagers who get together in the dead of night in the play Midnight Delinquents. And be warned, this episode contains some adult language. Hey, Babs. Have you heard about that warehouse at the end of town? Ruth, it's midnight. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. It must be time for an adventure! You're kidding. An adventure? Right now? I can't stop thinking about that warehouse. Wait, what? The warehouse? The haunted one? I've been talking to Thomas. You mean twisting his arm. Oh. Come on, Babs. He loves it. (laughs) I'll admit, he loves these adventures. I mean the arm twisting. Ruth, (laughs) cut it out. Me and Thomas are going to head over there. Do you want to come? Correction, Thomas and I are going to head over there. Whatever, grammar fascist. All right, all right. Either way, it's really late and I'd have to sneak out. Think of the ghosts, Ruth. All that super creepy gloom, and maybe we'll actually see a ghost. I have always wanted to check it out, but now in the middle of the night? And anyway, Thomas needs an excuse to use his new driver's license. Oh, that's right. Despite my skills of persuasion, it took a lot of arm twisting to get him to agree to drive us out there. He kept babbling about getting in trouble. Poor Thomas. (laughs) Well, are you in or not? Of course. Oh my god, I'm so excited, but... Not chickening out already, are you? Of course not. But is it okay if I invite a friend of mine? They'd be totally into this. A friend? Oh god, not that loner kid who, like, wears all black. Pill. You know their name. What is his, her, real name? Just Pill. That's what they want to be called, okay? Jeez, be more supportive, Ruth. They're really nice and cool and... Really? Nice. 
That kid is not what I'd describe as nice. Too cool for school, more like it. Pills had a rough time. Fine, whatever. If your pet project wants to tag along... Thomas is here. Gotta go. Get your ass in gear, girl. We'll pick you up in just a couple minutes. What about this pill friend of yours? Pills said they'd meet us there. They live at the edge of town? I said Pills okay. All right. All right. I got it. We'll meet him there. Thanks, Ruth. See you soon. Hey, Thomas. You get out all right? Didn't wake anybody up? Oh my god, I'm on the verge of a heart attack here. How does Ruth always talk me into this stuff? It's her superpower. We are so gonna get in trouble. You're doing fine, Thomas. Where is Ruth? She's in the car. I parked it down the street so I wouldn't wake up your family. Hey, Ruth told me about your driver's license. Cool. Yeah, pretty great, right? Yeah, congrats, man. Thanks. Babs! No alarms going off? I think you made it. Let's go. Nice driving, Thomas. We got here in one piece. Um, thanks? Hey, Pill? Pill, where are you? Hey, Babs. Sup? Sup? Ruth. How long have you been lurking around here tonight, Pill? Technically, it's morning now. Whatever. You know what she means. Take it easy, Ruth. Been here for a while. I... I need to clear my head. I come here to, you know, contemplate life and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure that's not code for jacking off. Ew. No! And you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, is it, Pill? Inquiring minds want to know. It's not like I'd tell you either way. <laughs> You're no fun. I'm plenty of fun when I want to be. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's go. Um, hey, you must be Pill. I'm Thomas. Hey. So, why is your name Pill? Are you a druggie or something? Ruth! That's Ruth. It's alright, Babs. I overdosed on prescription medicine last summer and almost died. Someone started calling me Pill and it just stuck. Oh. God, Ruth, what is your problem? Nice, Ruth. Come on, you guys. Let's get going. Come on, Pill. Why are you being such a jerk? I didn't know, okay? So this is the infamous haunted warehouse, huh? Have you been here before, Pill? Sure, all the time. You sure you want to go inside this creepy place? We could totally go see a late night movie or something, you know. At one o'clock in the morning? Come on, Thomas. Don't be a scaredy cat. I'm not. I'm just saying. Ooh, so excited. We're going to see some ghosts. <laughs> Hooray. Come on, Thomas. Keep moving. You can do it. Shit, it's super dark in here. Does anyone have a flashlight? Yeah, I do. Hang on. Nice work, Pill. I guess dressing a bit freaky doesn't mean you're not organized. At least one of us planned ahead. Jesus, it's really creepy in here. <laughs> and I was gonna say, it's really creepy in here. Totally. This place is way bigger than I thought it'd be. Yeah, this place is massive. It's hard to see anything. I wish we had a bigger flashlight. Relax, Thomas. Give your eyes a chance to adjust. 
I wonder what this place was used for. Anybody know? I think they used to manufacture car parts or something. What's that? Pill, point your flashlight over there. Where? Oh, just an old burned out car and some boxes. Man, even ghosts wouldn't want to haunt this place. I don't know. I assume ghosts prefer more dismal surroundings. I know I do. <laughs> Ghost apologist. Hey, you guys. I'm totally having deja vu. I was, like, just thinking the same thing. Really? Ghost and deja vu? Oh, this is so great! Babs, you're not having deja vu too? What? Get out! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Scared ya. What's your problem, you dick? Back off, you nutty bitch! Whoa, whoa, Jack, what the hell, man? I'm the victim here, Mary. All right, Jack, God, don't get your panties in a twist. Plus, you kind of deserved it. Sorry about him. He's kind of a jerk when he's nervous. You got that right. You okay, Thomas? This guy's got an anxiety condition. You can't just jump from out of the shadows. Not okay. Okay. Sorry. I'll be all right. Just give me another minute. Who are you guys? I'm Babs. This is Ruth. That's Thomas and... And the emo-looking kid is Pill. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Probably the same reason you're here. Cause it's so much fun. This place is supposed to be haunted and we wanted to check it out. Us too. This place is great, right? It's amazing. I bet it's super creepy even during the day. It is. Jack and I have investigated here before. We're, uh, we're ghost hunters. Oh yeah? No kidding? Tonight, we're testing out our new equipment. Check this out. Our new EMF meter. Wow, that is awesome. Jack, turn it on. Mary is going crazy. That's super weird. Why is it doing that? It must be broken. Turn it off, Jack. That's weird. Yeah, it hasn't done that before. No, I mean, I just realized. There's three of you guys. So what? There's four of them, not three, Einstein. Oh, yeah. There's four of you. That, that doesn't fit. What are you talking about? The reason we're here. Investigating the ghosts that haunt this warehouse. Who is supposed to be haunting this place? The three kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah, on a dark and stormy night, much like this. Oh, cut it out, Jack. A couple years ago, three kids got in a car accident on Stillings Road. Isn't that the road that runs by this warehouse? What happened? They plowed into a tree. Whoa. What happened to them? To the kids? Lights out. Jack! They, they died. All of them? I never heard of any accident. No? They were, like, our age. That's horrible. What school did they go to? Mm, Jack, you've got our notes, yeah? Yeah. McKinley High. Where's that? No, Jack, that... That's our other investigation. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Portola High. What? That's impossible. Portola is our school. Do you know their names of the kids that died in the accident? Sure. Uh, Disvishsky. What? Thomas, Thomas Disvishsky. Shut up! He was the driver. The others were Barbara Escott and Ruth Kisgarth. That's impossible. That's a pretty freaky coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... A coincidence. Ruth, what's going on? Is is Babs short for Barbara? Yeah. Oh, I don't feel so good. Thomas, you okay? Oh my God! What's wrong? My hand. Uh, my my hand. What is it? <laughs> a 
Look. Oh, shit! Mary, your hand! Move right through him! What is he talking about, you guys? Thomas, man, don't worry about... Whoa. You're right. Like, you're not really there. Wait, wait, so... You're telling us we're... dead? We're... the ghosts? Wait, what about Pill? I know. Uh... Pill, you're solid. Hang on. Pill, aren't you that kid from Portola that tried to commit suicide last year? Yeah. Perry Haggerth? That's me. Pill's good, though. Oh, well. I've read that suicide survivors are often more likely to see ghosts, since they kind of cheated death, you know? And we're at the epicenter, so so to speak. So I guess that's why Mary and I can see him. Makes sense, I guess. If Pill's not a ghost, then how... how... Mary, how did Pill not realize they're dead? Hmm. Well, I mean, we didn't know either, Jack. You guys are Class A full-body apparitions. This is nuts! You can't be serious. Ruth? I'm calling BS on this whole thing. Pill, did you ever try and touch any of them? I'm not a very touchy-feely person. That would explain it. Oh my god. We're dead. Oh my god, what's happening? Your body's disintegrating, Babs. You too, Ruth. Oh, mine too? Jesus Christ, what's happening? Hey, it's it's okay. Uh, when ghosts figure out that they're they're dead, they they often start to move on to the afterlife. We can't leave. It's gonna be okay, you guys. You are just starting to move on. I don't wanna go. You should go. You don't belong in this world. Are you trying to get rid of us? No, 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 I don't want you to go. You totally are. They have to go, Pill. I don't want you to go. You're my only friends. Pill, you should come with us. Yeah. You already tried to kill yourself once. You can do it again. Odds are it'll actually work this time. Come with us. I, uh... Hey, that's enough. Stop it. Buzz off. You're not a part of this. Pill, we're running out of time. Come on, there's a knife right there. I, um, I mean... Please... I mean, I guess... Hill, no, you're crazy. Maybe I am, but these are the only friends I've had in years, and I'm not gonna let them go. N- no, Pill, you can't do this. Put it down. Just let me kill myself. They're my only friends. I need to follow them. Let me go. <laughs> well, Pill... Pill... We did find some ghosts, right? That's pretty cool. They're... They're gone. I should have gone with them. They were the only friends I've ever had. Hey, Pill. You did the right thing. Yeah, and you've got some new friends, if you want them. What do you mean? We'll be your friends. Really? Yeah, we need a third person for our paranormal investigations. Someone to, uh, work the video camera. Really? What kind of camera do you have? We've got this amazing full-spectrum camera with infrared. Infrared? That's amazing. And I know how to edit video. What? That's awesome! What software do you use? Aw, how cute. You two are totally dorking out. (laughs) Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. We'll come back soon and see if we can contact them? 
They'll probably have moved on. But we can come back soon. Just in case. So, what was that other case you were talking about? There was this guy. Watch your step. You okay, Phil? So anyway, I was reading online about this guy. What website? Wikipedia, right? So this guy is supposed to be haunting this hotel about a hundred miles away. Tonight's episode was written by Isaac Penston, produced and directed by Amy Pavi. Heard in tonight's play were Gillian O'Leary as Ruth, Tara Ram Mohan as Babs, Ojas Moore as Thomas, Jude Lee as Pill, Logan Schluntz as Jack, and Vice as Mary. The additional music, Haunting of the Crypt, was created by Haunted Corpse, sourced from the Free Music Archive. The amazing episode cover art is by Rowan Barbo, logo design by Michael Dern, and yours truly, Josh Horowitz. If you enjoy our plays, please subscribe and leave a review on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts, or drop us a line via email. The address is in the show notes. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening, and see you again at midnight.